one world, one people, and one great family. Climate change will put billions of people in harm's way. It will not be possible to do anything in 30 years, just like it is not possible to stop a war the day it begins. Wars and disasters are prevented 30 years in the past, and that means now. We are the ones that are supposed to deal with the terrible things that are coming for the future generations. That is how the human family helps each other across borders, including the border of time that divides generations. The future generations can't stop disasters once they begin, and it won't take them very long to understand that. Let me repeat that time and again. Disasters are not stopped in the present, but 30 years in the past. Once they happen, it's too late. If you want to stop a war in 2050, you build schools in 2020. If you want to stop a humanitarian crisis in 2050, you find a solution in 2020. Politicians have their hands tied, just as much as the teachers. They are both pretty ineffective where real problems and real solutions are concerned. Real school is where we learn to invent and build what will be needed. Improvement to farming will go a long way in short term, but climate change won't stop. What will need to happen is migration. We are one family. We are one people. If our family in Africa can't stay there because of climate, then we help them move north. Melting permafrost, something that we failed to prevent already, will open up new areas for farming. That is a pretty good place for our family to move into. If this was something that needed to happen in 2020 right now, and not in 30 years, you can see how today's uneducated people would try to stop it. They don't know they are uneducated. They don't know their hate is fueled by lack of education, even though many are somewhat aware that they've never read a real book. And very few will be awakened to how indoctrination warped their minds before they go too far. We are all very beautiful, but we can be warped by culture and indoctrination into acting against our family, and then snatched by an infantile criminal justice system incapable of help. The law is incapable of processing lack of education, groupthink, clouded minds, and the law should be applied to politicians more than to those who are uneducated due to political failings. But that will never be the case. Before we rebuild the criminal justice system and comprehend the simple and primitive notion that we must replace prisons with real schools, and get to the more complicated stuff, where we actually begin seeing criminals as people in urgent need of real help, not in need of sick punishment that will unravel their minds further. We need real schools. In 30 years' time, humanity must see itself as one family, because half of us will need help and borders will need to be opened. Children are not born hating each other because of color or the place they were born to. 
It is the uneducated that spread those divisions. To fix the hate that currently makes it impossible to help billions of people out of the upcoming climate crisis, we need real schools and real education. It is the same thing that inmates need. It is the same thing that people of hate need. It is the same thing that normal people need. It is the same thing that our children need. It is the same thing we need. Real schools and real education is what the world really needs. You are right to sense that there are very few stable answers here right now. That is because we didn't get the education that is worthy of us. Let me show you. You are now in a nation somewhere, one that is encircled by a political border. And you see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Even though I just told you three billion people will need help. It is not just knowledge that we need. And it is not just knowledge that we get when we learn. Our mind accumulates the structures of the things we learn about and is then able to dynamically apply these structures to new problems by a subtle analogy. That is wisdom, beautifully thinking by subtle analogy. And then what follows wisdom is greatness. And greatness is something else. Greatness is never what you expect it to be. It will always make you feel small. It is the hearing of the words, but I want you all to know that this is not me. And actually understanding that as our failure to help children grow into great human beings which is the real and only solution to the upcoming global climate crisis. In order to help all those in need in 30 years, we must look past our hate or fear of those fractured by lack of education and truly understand what these words mean. Do you see what fake education leads to? Do you see how it tears our family apart? We have to make our way towards finding solutions. We need a real educational system that helps us to wisdom and to greatness. We are not yet able to create the things that will eventually help us. We still need education at this point. It means real schools, real education, meaningful books, life-changing lectures that transform the students from whatever they were born into, into lovers of wisdom and great beings that change the world for better. Please find a way to understand that even though the climate crisis will begin in 30 years, the time to fix it is right now. We must build real schools and ensure real education that helps children to grow into great beings, that understand the meaning of peace, of world peace, of greatness, of wisdom of one family. 
We must become great beings and erase all divisions and all borders. We must understand that this one world is for us all to deal with the upcoming climate crisis. We must open borders. We must prevent the suffering of billions by just giving them a beautiful new place to live unconditionally. This is one family, one world, one wisdom, one greatness. We must also promise them that we will do all we can to find a way to reverse climate change so that those who wish can go back someday. These people are not climate refugees. They are our family. Become a great being. <laughs>